Good morning gamers, it is your boy Krusty Sock here and today, oof, I feel a pivotal moment in human evolution shall we say. So TikTok, Tok Tick, you know, the place where people go shake their booties, tell you how to cook food and show you how much better their lives is compared to yours. Well, the bandit or sleepy Joe Biden apparently has signed the TikTok ban. Now firstly I know what you might be thinking, how on earth can this old senile man hold a pen? And the answer is he can't, he's not signed anything, he's literally a puppet but that's a different conspiracy theory I mean basically they must divest TikTok within the next nine months so basically they must sell it on to a non uh, Chinese company so it's a no it's a it's a it's a real funny old thing, and I'll tell you why. TikTok, I don't really like, I have to admit. You know, I think it's got its problems, and it promotes the sort of lazy content that is just, you know, repeat, sync and repeat. You're just watching people dance and singing songs or pretending to sing songs. Like, there's no, there's nothing interesting on it. But the reason they're banning it is because they don't want you to think. They're basically saying that you can find and learn too much information on TikTok compared to news. You know, people don't read the news anymore. They read TikTok, which is dangerous. Basically, the people who own it said they're not going to sell it uh, and I, I think this is all talk um, I don't think they would ban TikTok I would love to see the Americans ban it I would absolutely love to see sleepy Joe Biden ban it mate he doesn't even know how to log on to a phone I bet he's never tight, sent a text in his life except if it's a penis picture to his first lady or something he's like oh here you go Jill do you like the look of that it's almost working you can almost see it but I wanted to show you this video of sleepy Joseph imagine what we can do next Four more years. Pause. Four more years. <laughs> Four more years. Pause. If you don't know what the pause is, he's clearly reading from a teleprompter, something in front of him, because the man can't think for himself, so he's got to get the minions to basically write out what he has to say, because he can't think or do anything for himself. I mean, America, wake up. I'm not saying Donald Trump is the solution, but holy helly, holy, holy homies hit me in the head. God damn, is this scary. If this sleepy sausage becomes president, then you just know that the United States is literally a puppet. It's whoever pulls the strings is actually the person who runs the country country or the people who run the country. I just don't understand how you can vote for someone like this. Four more years. Four more years. Look at him. Yeah, four more years. And he's like, yeah, four more years. Four more years of what, please? Why am I here again? Can someone remind me? Um, four more years of, of president. I'm the president. Really? Re me? No. <laughs> don't be stupid. I'm not the president. I'm Joe Biden. Jill's my wife, right? I'm the, pre I'm, the, I'm the president. Holy shit. That's what I imagine this conversation went down by. I look at his, his grin. Yeah, oh, yeah. They love me. No, they don't. They're taking the P.I. staker, mate. No, I love a good conspiracy. I usually wake up, put my tinfoil hat on straight away because that's when the microwaves really come to your head for all possible incarnations and solutions of problems that don't make any sense. So, let's watch this guy. Sleepy Joe Biden is basically not a human. He tries to shake someone's hand, then watch his face. <gasps> his mask! Did you see that, ladies and gentlemen? Conspiracy confirmed. Joe Biden is not real. He wears a mask. He's like one of them uh, synths from Fallout 4. He's just a fake human being. I promise you. He's fake. He's fake. He's not real. He's not real. He's not real. He's fake. He's fake. He's not real. This man is a fake man. Now we've got to find out who's actually under the skin because Joe Biden is not under that skin. I promise you that. Joe Biden died 50 years ago in fucking World War II or whenever he served. Not the same Joe Biden running for the United States government. It makes you think though what about barack obama do you think he's human do you think he's got a, a fake skin he's a synth as well ah! so this man is one of the owners of tiktok obviously he is now out of a job or nearly going to be out of a job i want to know as well what happens to tiktok if it does get banned like in other countries because obviously america can't control what other people say at the end of the day if they do ban it i'm pretty sure a tick uh, uh what they call a vpn a vpn will save your soul but imagine all the little kids are going to be running around like crack faints like oh where's my tiktok oh, i need tiktok fuck ah ah i need tiktok fuck it give me tiktok hi everyone a show here. Hello, show. As you may have heard, Congress passed a bill that the president signed into law that is designed to ban TikTok in the United States. That will take TikTok away from you and 170 million Americans who find community and connection on our platform. 
170 million people waste hours of their day on this app, which is probably a good thing it's going to be banned, but I, I don't think it should be banned. I think the good thing about social media and things like Twitter, specifically Twitter, uh, TikTok, is you can't really ban, you know, other people's opinions unless they're horribly racist, sexist, bigoted, whatever. But if people have these opinions and they put them on and they share what's actually going on in the world and you don't like it, that's called free speech, mate. Americans are all about free speech. It's literally the thing you guys crave more than fucking oxygen itself. No free speech, I might as well not be alive. I don't want to be here if I can't speak my mind. You know, that's what you guys are known for. TikTok and Instagram and social media all allow this sort of behavior and all these beliefs to actually be. TikTok allows you to think and see different sides of stories and learn different beliefs. And the American government don't like that because you're learning about the Israel war, what's actually going on, about the Ukraine and Russia war, what's actually going on. You're actually learning about other places in the world that America said is bad, but they're not. Make no mistake, this is a ban. A ban on TikTok and a ban on you and your voice. Politicians may say otherwise, but don't get confused. Many who sponsored the bill admit a TikTok ban is their ultimate goal. It's obviously a disappointing moment, but it does not need to be a defining one. It's actually ironic because the freedom of expression on TikTok reflects the same American values that make the United States a beacon of freedom. Very valid point. The whole point of TikTok is to express and have different viewpoints. And just like in real life, I mentioned this in the other video I made about something, people are going to have different opinions to you. The internet just allows them to express these opinions online and for them to exist forever. TikTok is a great way of learning and developing and seeing different sides of stories. I d might not believe in the way, you know, sitting on your phone all day, swiping up and just sitting there for half an hour, you know. Uh, you know, I, that's the bit I don't like. I like to try and not waste my life. I say that while I sat here with over 300 hours in Red Dead 2 fishing, hunting, but that's not the point, all right? The point is doing it on your phone is bad, grr. TikTok gives everyday Americans a powerful way to be seen and heard. And that's why so many people have made TikTok part of their daily lives. Rest assured, we aren't going anywhere. We are confident and we will keep fighting for your rights in the courts. The facts and the constitution are on our side. That's the thing I would like to say. I don't know the American constitution. I don't sleep with it next to my bed, unlike the Bible and the Quran all at the same time, because I'm, you know, really religious and believe in all of them people. But like, t you can't just ban something that 180 million people use, surely, because you don't like that it allows them to get information you might not agree with. Like, that is crazy. Like, that's cr that's that's like um, dictatorship. It's like back in the day when someone would say something bad about the king and then they have their head chopped off. Well, now you can't get your head chopped off, but we can just block it so you can't actually, uh, you're not allowed to express these opinions. TikTok has made Joe Biden become Sleepy Biden, has made him become a meme, all right, and they don't like that liberals or whoever they are, the lefty losers don't like it. And by the way, I'm not a lefty loser and I'm not a righty, righty wanker. No, I'm not a righty, righty rule, roulard. I don't know. Whatever the right is. I think the system is just old fashioned. It's as old as your grandma when she was 120 years old and now she's 150 and it's still part of your life. You know what I mean? She's just clinging on. She's just hanging in there. The left and the right is too old fashioned lads. Our community is also filled with 7 million business owners who have built their livelihoods on TikTok. While we make our case in court, you'll still be able to enjoy TikTok like you always have. Through our US data security efforts, we have built safeguards that no other peer company has made. We have invested billions of dollars to secure your data and keep our platform free from outside manipulation. I don't believe that. For a minute, for starters, I'm pretty sure they sell all your information to China. But you've got to ask yourself, who would you rather have your information? The American government where you live so they can always find you, or these blokes in another country a billion miles away who don't give a shit about you or what you like to watch on Tic Tac. Tic Tac, Tic Tac, or your favourite anime, or your favourite corn category. You know, they don't give a shit about that. Tic Tac is purely just information gathering. What are people interested in? What are people searching? What are people looking for? How can we manipulate what people are looking for? For and make sure that what they're looking for is right. The answer is you can't, and that scares the American government. Sleepy Joe Biden doesn't like the fact that he has become a meme and that everyone knows now of the BS that they're filled with. They lie, they don't tell you the truth, they don't tell you what's going on, and now TikTok is now almost inevitably going to be banned, potentially. Who knows? I don't think they'll get away with it. I don't think they can get away with it. I think it's all talk, just like Joe Biden and his entire administration has been for the past four years. All talk, no bite. Just... 
absolute rubbish. Ever since Sleepy Joe's entered the stratosphere of what I'd call a president, inverted commas, the world's just gone to absolute piss. Like, it's just taken a dramatic drop. You know, jump off the Mount Chiliad, you'd have less pain than watching Joe Biden in the past four years. I mean, good Lord. Forget a parachute, that doesn't need saving you. But, oh, it's just sad. What do you guys think? TikTok, is it going to be done? Is it over? I think it's going to take a lot, a lot, a lot of time. And, you know, surely just a VPN would save the day. But, hey-ho, who knows? Here you go. Anyway, lads, ladies, ladies, lads, ladies, and everything in between. Good night, good luck, and, yeah. I'd start downloading TikToks quickly because it's going to be gone.